If I drop this feather and this hammer at the same time on Earth, which will land first? Why? What happens when I drop a feather and a hammer on the moon? It was the famed astronomer Galileo whose study of gravity spawned the legendary tale of the Leaning Tower of Pisa, Feather Drop. <laughs> Galileo Galilei was an Italian physicist, astronomer, and philosopher. He was associated with the scientific revolution. Z. In the late 16th century, it was generally believed heavier objects would fall faster than lighter objects. Galileo thought differently. He hypothesized or imagined that two objects could fall at the same rate regardless of their mass. See. Legend has it that in 1590, Galileo held a feather and a stone in either hand and released them simultaneously. The feather structure slowed its descent in parachute fashion, and the stone landed first. Mm. Galileo reasoned that this was a result of factors other than weight, and his later investigations confirmed that air resistance and friction, not weight, are responsible for this difference. What would happen if you dropped a feather and a stone on the moon where no air exists? Astronauts David Scott and Jim Irwin conducted Galileo's experiment on the moon during their Apollo 15 mission. Take a look at what happened. Well, in my left hand, I have a, a feather. In my right hand, a hammer. And I guess one of the reasons uh, we got here today was because of a gentleman named Galileo a long time ago who made a rather significant discovery about falling objects in gravity fields. And we thought that uh, where would be a better place to confirm his uh, findings than on the moon. And uh, so we thought we'd try it here for you. Uh, the feather happens to be appropriately a falcon feather for our falcon. And I'll uh, drop the two of them here and hopefully they'll hit the ground at the same time. How about that? Uh, Mark, that proves that Mr. Galileo was correct in his findings. See. The Apollo feather drop was not the most accurate science experiment. Mm. No one measured the height from which the objects were released, nor the time they took to fall, and Scott was leaning over with his arms not quite parallel to the ground. Mm. But as a demonstration, it is unforgettable. See. And so too is Galileo. Quick, name three scientists who have furthered the world's understanding of gravity. Let's put them in order. Galileo built on the ideas of the scientists who came before him. Newton built on the ideas of Galileo. And Cavendish built on the ideas of Newton and Galileo. Thank you. Let your mind revolve around this. If I have seemed further than others, it is because I have stood on the shoulders of giants. As we move forward in time, which of you will stand on the shoulders of these science giants and increase our understanding of gravity and microgravity?